It is our God who, with his word, created all things. This word being almighty has all power in heaven and earth, accomplishing his will completely. The Lord Yahshua, who was the fullness of the Spirit of God as Son of God, said, The end will not come until all these things shall be fulfilled. The fulfillment of prophecy through the word of God is the most beautiful thing on earth. It gives invigorating life to believers in Almighty God. In the book of Revelation 5.5, 5, there is a vision told. Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and loose the cells thereof. We are made, he made us kings and priests unto our God, and we shall reign on earth. Revelation 5.10 As a result of he who sat up on the throne, loosing the seven seals by Yahshua, we are now equipped fully with the seven spirits of God, power, riches, wisdom, strength, honor, glory, blessings. It was beautiful to read all those years, but it is even more beautiful to know that the word was fulfilled on earth. November 2nd, 1930, Negus Tafari Makunin became Haile Selassie I, King of Kings of Ethiopia, conquering the line of the tribe of Judah. This marked the fulfillment on earth what had only existed in heaven in the word of God. Thus, Almighty God revealed his word to us. We, by accepting this fact by faith, shall reign on earth as kings and priests. This earth is... This earth is our rightful inheritance, and we are now equipped with the seven spirits of God to take dominion over the earth. Please be not as the Pharisees and miss our I, Haley Selassie, I, in the flesh, taking dominion now for the thousand-year reign of Christ. Our Lord has invaded earth, and we are to repent and manifest our kingly and priestly character. Receiving by faith the promised word of God will enable you to have practical dominion over this earth. It is the church's job now to carry out justice upon the earth that has already been judged. In 1963, His Imperial Majesty spoke before the world at the founding of the United Nations in New York. He scolded the world for their previous judgments and warned them that if their judgments made in the future, Future were not done equitably, equitably, then the world would face utter destruction. This was no vain saying by His Majesty, since His word in 1936 spoken before the world, the League of Nations, making a plea for equity to be upheld, or God and history will remember their judgment and they would face similar aggression. The nations of the world fell and were found guilty, and World War II began. Proving to be the deadliest war ever known to man. The war ended with bombs that destroyed two whole cities dropped into Japan. Our God says, Behold, I have created the smith who blows the fire of coals and brings forth a weapon for his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. Speaking before the nations of the world twice in the 19th century and warning them that God was judging this brought many promises of the Bible in full effect for the believer. These are only the beginning of the revelations of the King of Kings. I advise you to do your research with an open heart guided by the Spirit of Truth. He will lead you into all truth regarding these facts. Many blessings and peace be with you now in these very wicked and dreadful days. Be of good cheer because you are under the covenant of peace and no weapon formed against you shall prosper. With holy reverence for the King of Kings, Negus Christ. Ja Rastafari.